Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at Unpacking, which is a zen puzzle game about moving and unpacking boxes, and it looks like a very, very relaxing game. This is currently the demo, I'll put the link for the demo in the video description, but this game is scheduled to release for PC, Switch, and Xbox One on November 2nd, so it's less than a month. So before we start, I just want to take a very quick look at the settings, so there are many different languages. So you guys can see if your language is there and there are also some control options, nothing very interesting here. There's also some accessibility options, so if you want to change the icon sizes, room swap, I'm not too sure what that is, invalid item highlights. I guess when you place an item at the wrong spot, you're gonna see a highlight of a certain color. And you can also allow items anywhere, which will remove the puzzle element of the game, so we're not gonna do that. But just keep in mind that these accessibility features exist. So yeah, let's just start unpacking. So 1997. So in this game, you get to move to eight different places. And while you unpack, you're gonna learn about the characters. You don't, there's no text or anything to tell you about the characters, but you just kind of figure it out by unpacking. So now we just have a little room, but later in the game, uh, you're gonna be moving in like bigger houses and stuff. So, alright, so the first thing is the little soccer ball. And so you can really move stuff anywhere you'd like. You can put it on the bed if you'd like. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. You can also open drawers. And I love this style of pixel art. It's so beautiful. And let's see here. We've got... Okay, no, there's not too much here. And we've got an album, so I'm assuming maybe after every room. Um, we can take a picture. This is so nice. We've got a little backpack. Um, it looks like a, I don't know, is it like a Sailor Moon backpack or something inspired by that? Maybe it could be here on the floor near the desk. This is so satisfying. Oh, so a little trophy here and you can rotate with the right click. So I'm assuming this character is maybe playing a soccer at school or something like that. They've got some pencils, some ruler. So I'm assuming she's still at school. And a little notebook, very girly, some crayons. There's quite a lot of stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit everything on the desk. So I'm gonna put the crayons here. Another notebook while she has a lot. Yeah, lots of school stuff, a little horse drawing so you can put stuff on the wall you can put it on the floor as well so you have a lot of freedom maybe that could be uh maybe here mm, maybe here what about the bed is that weird i don't know you guys let me know little piggy bank this is so cute and the music is quite relaxing as well i've been looking forward i've been following the progress of this game on twitter and there was a demo i think a few months ago oh i like how you can place the books like sideways like this yeah, that was a demo a few months ago, but I missed it. And I was so mad. Oh, we've got a Simon Says uh, thing. Yeah, oh, what's that? I don't know what's that. Oh, is that an eraser? Oh, is that... Um, I don't know how to say in English. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, we've got a Rubik's Cube. Garbage bin, garbage bin. Okay, I'm gonna move the backpack. I'm gonna put the garbage bin here. Can I put stuff in the garbage bin? Oh, no, you can't. You can't throw stuff away. This is so cute. But yeah, I've been really looking forward to this game and I don't know, it's so exciting. I don't know if I can, yeah, I can't move the boxes. So they're kind of in the way right now. Just like moving in real life, right? And so here we've got another game. Procedure, oh yeah, I remember that surgery. Operation, right? That's how it's called. I recently moved in real life like maybe two months ago in August and that's quite stressful but my favorite part of moving is definitely packing is stressful but unpacking is so much fun uh, so you can put stuff in here so maybe I can put yeah I'm gonna put this thing here and the ruler that fits perfectly I don't think I can fit anything else and there's a little heart sticker that's so cute yeah, I recently moved and I love my new place, but yeah, moving is a lot of work, but this game somehow <laughs> makes it very relaxing. So once again, lots of school stuff. Oh, look at this dragon. Maybe this could be on the bed, right? 
like this or maybe near the pillow oh you can't put it on the pillow maybe yeah i think it's gonna go in the corner right here and oh we've got a poster here oh a nice little rainbow angel <laughs> i don't know how to call this some kind of dog uh what about here i think that that's a nice spot right here and here we've got some dracula or some kind of vampire book oh i forgot you can actually put stuff inside you know what i think the maybe the board games all the board games could go in here simon says the rubik's cube is cute i think i can leave it outside yeah oh maybe all the books could go here let's make a nice layout for this like that uh, another book so that person likes reading quite a lot i would assume so maybe it's just some school book i don't know oh a game boy game boy game boy i think that should be on the desk so maybe she can play a little bit at the same time as doing her homework and oh my gosh this cat is so cute i wish i had one like this it's so cute i think this one could be on the desk just helping oh maybe she it could be on the chair while she's studying oh maybe it could be here you know what i think i'm gonna place it on the chair and here we've got some maybe some kraken stuff i'm gonna place it here you know what? i'm gonna place the long books here and the short books there yeah like this oh we've got a nice polaroid there are so many things that make me feel nostalgic in this just because it's the, like in 1997 i was like four years old at that time but lots of nostalgic stuff <laughs> um this there she's not gonna use this probably so i'm gonna put it i'm just gonna shove it in there and another book is that robin hood maybe oh maybe it's a scout thing i'm not too sure i'm gonna put that there a little bus i'm gonna put that here and some jump rope so i'm gonna put it with the soccer ball so the second box is done and we're now down to the last box i'm gonna put ah uh, that box is really that book is really small you know what i'm gonna put this one here this one there oh look at this frog it's so cute she has so many <laughs> she has so much cute stuff i hope we get to do a second move uh in this game in the demo i don't know how long the demo is maybe i can put the little pony here near the window oh we've got a superhero maybe the superhero can be with the pony oh she has lots of like figures and stuff maybe these two could be together i think these two could be by the window yeah her room is quite small and i don't want to put stuff like on the floor or anything you know what i'm gonna put the crayons here this thing as well here and yeah i'm gonna hide the journal a little bit further away i'm gonna put the game boy here and oh we've got another little pony like this oh a little troll oh my God, so much nostalgic stuff in here uh maybe the troll could be by the window with everything else i don't know if you can move the curtains no you can't move the curtains um another little superhero i don't know if this is a reference to a real superhero or something like that i'm not too sure oh tamagotchi maybe that could be um maybe the tamagotchi could be in her bed maybe she plays with her tamagotchi before sleeping and here we've got a little duck i think that could be a nice partner for the dragon and a little pig so we saw that pig on the title screen is like the the mascot i'm unpacking if you'd like i think it could be a nice oh it doesn't fit with the frog you know what maybe the duck could fit yeah the duck and frog together oh Oh, there was some sound. I don't know. If, oh, it's not doing it anymore. Uh, but it did some sound. So the pig and the dragon together. Oh, and here's the pig again. Uh, so I think that's probably her favorite toy. Maybe she had this one when she was a baby or something. So I'm gonna place that here with the other <laughs> little pig. And uh, a little radio. I think that could be... I think I'm gonna have to start placing stuff on the floor um i think i think i think i think maybe that could be oh you can actually move here so the door is here right i think it could be there on the ground on the floor and some more books a little book about what's that some elephant maybe it's dumbo or something and oh some witch thing um i think the long book i'm gonna place the long books at the top right here 
And that's it for the last box. Oh, okay, so some stuff is at the wrong place. So as you see with the red highlights, so I'm not too sure. Maybe the journal has to be hidden away. Maybe that's what it is. And the backpack? Um, what's wrong with placing the backpack there? Maybe I, I should put the backpack... Mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> uh, no, the backpack doesn't go there. And the radio doesn't go there. Oh, I think it's maybe just some items cannot be like on the floor. Yeah, maybe she's a very tidy girl. She doesn't want stuff to be on her floor, which is which makes sense. So I'm gonna, just gonna move things a little bit, like this. I want to see the troll a little bit better, like this. And the cat, I guess the cat's gonna go on the bed with the other friends. Oh, Tamagotchi cannot go on the bed, so she's not playing Tamagotchi in bed. So that's gonna be with the little Game Boy. I feel like she's gonna get very distracted in her homework. So let me place the homework here. And the radio, the boombox, the this thing, I guess I'll have to place it there. I'm gonna place the Polaroid up here and the boombox here. Yay, I did it! So yeah, don't place stuff on the floor except if it's the sport, sport stuff. Yay, so we finished the first stage. So we're now in 2004, which is quite a few years later, so maybe she's moving into her own apartment or maybe she just still moves with her family. Maybe she's moving to college. This looks like a dorm, right? With the not so good furniture. And as you can see, there's another room here. So we've got... Oh, so yeah, she's got a full apartment. She's got the bathroom here. You can open the little drawers and you can... Uh, yeah, so that's the bathroom. There's a little kitchen and a little bedroom. So she's got a small, nice little apartment. And of course with a big 2004 screens. So she still has pens. She's still into purple, I think. I don't know if the books are the same. Uh, let me see if there's maybe somewhere in the... Oh, she doesn't have a living room, right? Okay, so I guess the books will have to come here. Oh, let me put that back here. And all of her hangers are mismatched. And as you can see, her wall is not that good. Like there's some holes and some like plaster. So I'm just gonna <laughs> try to hide that with the posters. She's got lots of books. So she's still into reading, but maybe they're more mature books. And uh, I think maybe she's still into art and stuff. She has lots of crayons, pencils, kind of artsy. Stuff. Oh, that's her computer, which is so big. So it's gonna go here. So that's it for this box. And uh, oh, yeah, she's got some art, like drawing book or something. I feel like I'm gonna need. Um, maybe this one is a drawing book as well. I think these shelves are gonna be pretty much filled with books. And oh, what's this one? I don't think that's a book. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, maybe it's a movie? Like a VHS? I'm not sure. And uh, her little mouse. And uh, oh, mouse pad. Yeah, okay, so let's put the mouse pad with the mouse. I feel like these things are in the way. She really needs her own desk for drawing or something. Like, uh, you know what? I'm gonna place it here, I guess. And the ruler. Gonna fit here. Oh, her journal is a lot darker. 0405. So I don't know if I can put that on her bed or not. And some book, another, oh yeah, so these are kind of drawing books, right? So maybe I can put all the drawing books on the top shelf and the fiction book on the second shelf. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but, uh, oh, maybe she drew this one. Uh, so maybe this could go, can you put stuff in, oh yeah, so you can move things from a room to another. So if she wants to have some art in her kitchen, uh, but yeah, there's not really a lot of room for that. Maybe that's gonna be more of an end game thing But so far I think every everything like all the boxes are where they should be so she kept her little piggy, but she removed the ribbon so the pig had a little ribbon earlier But yeah, no more ribbon Toothbrush. Oh, yeah, so the toothbrush is gonna come in here The sounds are so satisfying like This is so nice Okay, so that's gonna be maybe like this and you know what? I'm just gonna put it on the other side I'm scared it's gonna fall in the toilet so I'm gonna put it here 
And oh yeah, she's really into drawing, right? So I'm gonna put this little thing here. Little radio. Oh, I just noticed she has a nightstand. Actually, I didn't see it earlier. So maybe I can put like the radio here. Uh, but I'm gonna have to move the boxes first. So here's her a school bag or something like college. Anyway, some kind of bag. And a little iPod. And oh, we've got some clothes. So I think she likes red quite a lot. She she seems like a kind of dark person, right? Dark clothing, like dark, like horror books or something. I don't know. Maybe she's in her emo phase or something like that. So I'm gonna put the little piggy bank here near the window. No, actually, that should go on the nightstand. Uh, oh wow, that's a cute shirt. Okay, let's put that here. Well, she still has this little figurine. Oh, I think I could make like a window with all the figurines. I think that could be cute. Uh, I'm gonna put the jeans actually at the bottom here. And the stuff she doesn't use, I'm gonna put at the top. Some shoes that could go here. I hope there's a second shoe. There's just one for now. Uh, CDs that could go here. Oh yeah, here's the other shoe. Like this this is so satisfying like i don't know if you guys oh look at these dr martens they're so cool um yeah i i don't know if you guys can see oh the ball is getting a little bit dirtier but yeah i don't know if you guys can tell it's so satisfying actually so satisfying uh this one i'm probably gonna put maybe in the nightstand actually the journal i'm gonna put in the nightstand so i'm just gonna put them here for now oh a little meow shirt so no it's not just all dark clothing she's got colorful stuff as well Oh, and she doesn't have enough hangers. Oh, so you can fold the clothes. If you don't put them on the hangers, they're gonna fold automatically. So that's pretty nice. Oh, she's still into frogs. Another <laughs> cute little froggy shirt. Oh, that's very early 2000, right? This fashion, these clothes. She still got her little bust, so she kept a lot of stuff. Oh, maybe she went to France. There's all Eiffel Tower. I think that's her pajama. So maybe the pajama could go in there. And, uh, oh, there's another pajama here. So maybe the other pajama could go in there as well. So you can fit quite a lot in just one drawer. Some underwear, so that's gonna go in there as well. This is so nice, so I'm just gonna finish. Oh, we've got some toilet paper. I'm just gonna finish this room and I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. All right, so I think the bedroom is done. So I just moved the clothes a little bit. Uh, so that's the closet. The little desk. Oh, I just need to put the journal away like this. And I guess this one, this one's gonna go here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much, you know what? I'm gonna put this bag away. I know she doesn't like to have stuff on the floor. So I'm just gonna put this one right here just in case. And yeah, so that's it for the bedroom. And now the bathroom. So this one shouldn't take too much time. We've got a little towel. And we've got a little soap, uh, so I'm guessing that's a hand soap, so I'm gonna put it here. A little mug. Oh, can you put the toothbrush inside? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, that's so nice. I like this little attention to detail. We've got a little deodorant, so maybe I can put some stuff in here, a little perfume. Yeah, it's not all gonna fit uh, outside, so I'm gonna have to put some stuff inside. Got some shampoo. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love this game. So relaxing, so nice. Uh, a little first aid kit. You know, oh, maybe I can put some stuff on the toilet. Yeah, maybe I could put the perfume and the deodorant on the toilet. Because she doesn't have any drawers. Oh, I don't know why she put some underwears here. I'm gonna have to put that back in her bedroom right here. So it's super easy and like intuitive to like move from one room to another, which is nice. And I don't know, like every click feels so relaxing. Oh, so she has some spare toilet paper. Yeah, this is so crowded here. Like this, like that. And she's got another towel here, so you can hang it there. And a little, tiny little garbage bin like this. Oh, a pan. Yeah, she, she packed some stuff kind of very randomly. Uh, so yeah, I guess the pan is gonna come here All right, so that's it for the bathroom a little bit crowded, but Still, I think we did pretty good. So last but not least. Oh, I just noticed you can actually zoom in and out um, 
yeah just a nice little thing you can even zoom in even more if you really really, really like pixel art and you want to appreciate every little pixel you can zoom in quite a lot so all right there is quite a lot to unpack here so let's do this listen to this guys this is so nice it sounds so realistic it sounds so satisfying oh i've got the keyboard so somehow she put the keyboard with the kitchen stuff oh my gosh i don't have any i don't have room for this i guess she's gonna have to put some drawing stuff away like this also depending on what surface you put your stuff on the sound is going to be different for example if i put the cookie jar here and here and here it all sounds different which is so nice all right guys so i finished unpacking everything oh so i made a few mistakes apparently the oil oh i think that's this shop i thought it was some oil and this one i'm actually i'm not sure <laughs> what that is i assume it was some food oh i think these are sponges actually some additional sponges. I'm gonna put that here. And the paper towels, she doesn't want to have them on the counter. No, I think she doesn't mind having them at the top here. So that's it for the kitchen. Now I've made some mistakes in the bedroom apparently as well. So um, actually I think everything's good here. I don't see anything flashing. Yeah, I think everything's good here. So now in the bathroom, oh, so the perfume can't go here so okay i'm gonna place it here once again i'm scared something's gonna fall into the toilet but that's pretty much it for this little apartment let me know what you guys think let me know if you would have placed something differently let me know if you have any guesses or any theories on who this person might be but yeah i think that's probably it for the demo right Yes, thanks for playing. Look forward to the full game on 2nd of November. I am. So you can wishlist on packing on Steam. It's also going to be available on Nintendo Switch and Xbox One. So I'm probably, I'm not for sure. I'm going to get it on Steam when it comes out. I'm so looking forward to this. It's such a fun, relaxing game. It's probably not that long. So there are eight moves in total. And of course, every time it gets bigger and bigger. It's just a very chill and relaxing experience. And if you like pixel art, I think you'll enjoy it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this game, if you're planning to get it or not. And click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.